Okay. Hey, I'm Paul from Dent Food Boss and today we're on the Nature Estate Blind Dyke. It's a hundred hectare. Uh, it's a historic estate and there are some cows, there's some vegetable production. And also we, the Dent Food Boss, are going to plant a food forest here on Blind Dyke. What we're doing today is revitalizing an abandoned tree nursery. It's about 500 square meters. It's in the north of the estate. And we started getting in there yesterday evening, got a feeling of what, what the nursery actually needs. And we decided that we would start by doing some selective weeding that's going on right now over there. You can see Jonas with a, uh, with a mower. After that we will really go into it, maybe take some trees out, leave some as well. There are some oaks that are going to be put out on the estate, on the field to the cows later this year. There are also some sweet chestnuts that will eventually end up in the food forest. And well, after having taken out some plants and left some, we will um, put on some cardboard that we got today from the Albert Hein. A lot of like yeah, paper and um, boxes. In the end, it's all organic material. So that we will put on to suppress the wheat and all the grass. Because the, the idea is to have some rows where we can nurse walnut trees, sweet chestnuts and more trees. Both for the food forest but also for the estate from seed to really get strong plants. So when we have put out the carpet, we will add a lot of wood chips that we are going to produce from the trees that are standing on the there right now and we will take them down, some of them. And um, that's going to suppress the wheat over the next two or three months and then in autumn we can put in the seeds to get nice trees. Uh, besides that, there's also a lot of wood over here in the, um, in the barn. And well, some, some of us are chopping it, some are cutting it with a chainsaw, some are bringing it over to the villa. Yeah, that's what we're doing and besides that we're having a lot of fun, lots of good food and uh, enjoy our time and hope next time you enjoy it with us. So to set the conditions for our future nursery, we have implemented a few strategies to improve the soil. What we have done is first we mowed, then we covered with cardboard. After we covered it with cardboard, we used the wood chips from the trees we pruned and felled. And upon that, we used green matter from the grasses we trimmed and also from leaves and bamboo that was around to keep moisture within the wood chips and help the decomposition. On the other side, we tried the technique using straw. There we're going to see the comparison between wood chips and straw. And then in the middle of the two, we made a path of logs of wood. So we are in July right now and all the organic matter is going to decompose until autumn and uh, then we're going to start planting trees so the actual tree nursery is going to start until then we're going to have a really nice um, soil uh, much better than now and then we're going to start planting trees together with uh, winter vegetables to already have a production while we raise our, our first seedlings and from then on it's just going to be a production of many many tree seedlings for the food forest and for the rest of the estate and the plan is also to extend this area and uh, to repeat this process in every new area that we open and um, to have a steady production of seedlings we're going to mow until here right like until the head Okay, let's go my friends. <laughs> 